Hey everybody, this is... Okay, hold on, wait, I have to figure out what day it is. Day 500. I... Of self-quarantine. It's 58. 58. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I'm starting over. But I liked what I said. It's Mother's Day. It is day 58 of the Corona Chronicles Coronavirus Quarantine 2020. And because it's Mother's Day, my very first Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. He really outdid himself. He really, really did. No. He did. But we are going to make lavender cupcakes for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And you have to eat at least one. I will. Or half of one. I'm going to eat two. Okay. Um, I got this recipe from a blog from Local Hive Honey. And what you will need is a half cup of room temperature butter, two eggs, one and three fourths cup all purpose flour. I am not using the gluten free flour today. Not this time. I'm not going to play around. I want these to be good. Not that there's anything wrong with gluten free flour. It just tastes weird. One and one half teaspoons baking powder, two teaspoons dried lavender, a half teaspoon salt one cup sugar, a fourth cup honey, one teaspoon vanilla, and two thirds cups of milk. Step one, preheat the oven to 350. It is preheated and ready to oh, go. Oh, I thought I had something to do. Okay, <laughs> what can I do? In a medium bowl, combine flour, baking powder, lavender, and salt. So you need- Flour. Flour. And you need- Wait, let's Gluten full flour. Wait, let's move things out of the way. One and three quarter. One and three fourths, yeah. That is exactly one and three quarter cups. All purpose. Baking flour. Gluten full, enriched, bleached, pre-sifted. Because you don't want to, you know, Come home now to sift your own flour. <laughs> okay, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Makes me feel like a chemist. How many? What am I, I smell doing? It? Yeah. Mm. Two teaspoons. Let me combine these. I'd say that's pretty combined. And we're supposed to set it aside. Uh, okay. Big question. I like the paddle attachment because it can get to the sides. Oh, that's true. Yeah, let's use the paddle attachment. This is half the fun of baking. Hey, let us know in the comments which attachment we're supposed to use. Beat the butter, just beat the butter. Oh, get out. Ah. Oh. Oh, so close. What is it? On medium to high speed. That's working. Oh, add sugar, honey, and vanilla. This is farmer's market honey, so it is better. Oh, this might be all vanilla. It's okay, I've got like three more things of vanilla. I hope it's okay that it's chunky. Perfect quarter of a cup. Beat until combined. Same uh, medium speed. banana bread recipe. I should have just used the paddle attachment the whole time because this looks way better. To add eggs one at a time in here to make sure I don't get any eggshells in there. Okay. Okay. 
club. Alternately add flour mixture and milk to butter mixture. How much milk? Two thirds. I got my thirds here. Alternately add flour mixture and milk to butter mixture. Are we supposed to use low fat milk? Uh, I think fattier milk's better. A third cup, because we're doing two thirds of a cup, so. How much of this should we add now? Uh, Half of it? Low speed, like low, low? Try low, low. The photo that went with this online mm. had a purple cupcake. Do we have food coloring? Because yes. I think that's what we need to make it purple. Yes, we do have food coloring. We're gonna have to add some food coloring. I think so, because I need a purple lavender cupcake. It looks like I have purple. Oh, neon purple. All right. I'm okay with neon purple. Cool. It's been expired for two years. Just cut that part out. Don't tell anybody. Mmm. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, turn it on low and add a couple drops until it becomes purple. Oh, is it delicious? Yeah, uh, I'm assuming the lavender is gonna become more flavorful when we bake it. Here we go. Cool. I did. Okay. What, three drops? Three drops. Wow. That was a long way. Three little drops of food coloring. It looks nice. Yeah, it does. Wow. Think that's enough? Yeah. Okay. Totally. <laughs> Uh, it says to spoon the batter into the muffin tins. Uh, okay, filling half full. Wanna lick it? It's all you, baby. Batter is just the best. I mean, should we just use the rest of this and fill them up? What do you think? Uh, I mean, no, I don't think we should fill them up because you don't want them to be like, I don't know. Do we need to even these out? Gosh, I don't know. That works. What if we add some more to these two? I'm allowed to use my finger to do this because I'm only... Because we're in quarantine and we're the only ones who can eat this. It's just us. But if we hit 1 million subscribers, we'll send the last 10 subscribers these cupcakes and five bucks. When we cut the camera, you and I are gonna go to town on this. 16 to 18 minutes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Would you like to make the icing? Oh, icing, right. Yeah. Oh, we gotta clean this bowl out. That was really tasty batter. Look that bowl clean. Now we're gonna make the icing. You need 
eight ounces of room temp cream cheese, two tablespoons of room temp butter, another half cup of honey, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and three cups of powdered sugar. In a large mixing bowl, beat the cream cheese, butter, honey, and vanilla with the mixer on medium until light and fluffy. Oh yeah. You put the butter in, okay. It's almost a half teaspoon. Awesome. It's still a little like sh little chunks of cream cheese in there, but you don't mind a little chunk of cream cheese in your frosting. Sure don't. Oh, no, you do one cup first, and then gradually add the remaining, which is going to be two cups. Gradually beat in remaining powdered sugar. All right? Yeah. And the tool. Just. Well, this is gradual. How much you want to add at one time? Add another cup. Ish. I will do it more slowly this time. So we still have about another cup of powdered sugar to add. What? Has 16 minutes already gone by? Yeah, I don't know how long, but timer's done. I didn't even hear a beep. I didn't either. Let's see those beautiful cupcakes. Ooh. Bring them over here for the toothpick test. That's what they told you, only to fill them halfway. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. Those look freaking done to me. All right. Uh, keep the cupcakes in the muffin tin and let cool on wire racks for 10 minutes. All right, rest now. of the sugar. Just like that. Did you have a good nap? Oh, you are covered in avocado. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. Wanna try that? Oh. He loves it. Of course he does. It's sugar. <gasps> Say no. Say mom was bad and let you have some sugar. All the moms out there are gonna be like, how dare you? Ruined him. It's all over. He's broken now. He'll never want anything else. Why don't you play this instead? Yeah, that's hot. Um, yeah, okay, so we're just waiting for these to cool. Completely. Okay, that didn't work at all. Let's try the knife. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we got the cupcakes out of the cupcake tin, and we are ready to ice them. This looks like the right tool. Now, are we doing the whole thing or the top? What's the protocol here? Just the top. All right.
Oh, fuck. Good. That's good. Dangerously good. Mm. This is the icing that should have been on the carrot cake. No. Mmm. Look, we do it like that, and do a little swirl. Oh yeah. As, as you can see, I'm professional. Big okay, swirler. Is that right? Hmm. I've done two cupcakes. Yeah, I've uh, found a hidden talent. Let me do these last ones. All of them? Oh my gosh. Oh boy, I want to give this kid this spoon. Let him try it. Oh no. Why? It's a bad idea. We will ruin him. Will you get the um the lavender back out? Yep. Are we sprinkling? They're not really purple. I know they look kind of pink, don't they? Maybe when you bite into them, they'll be some sort of color that reminds you of lavender. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da. Do you like that dancing pineapple? Man, that's good. Oh yeah? You want to eat something? You want a banana? Do you want my finger? You just wanted my finger. They're so pretty. I guess are we ready to to try them? Yeah. I'm gonna take this uh, kind of fucked up deformed one here. Aw, he's a cute little guy. I don't pick the perfect ones. I try to find the ones that are blemished and ultimately gonna get thrown away if a guy like me doesn't pick them up. I'm going to try this little guy. He is nearly perfect on the bottom. Uh, what? I'm just saying, it's so perfect. Exactly. All right. Thank you for a wonderful Mother's Day morning and rest of the day. I had the best surprises when I came downstairs and the best gift of all is having you guys to do fun things like this with me. Well, you're a great mom and you deserve it. We love you. Love you guys too. Mmm. This is much better than the banana bread. <laughs> Look at how pink it is. Mm. That's better. Like, if you want to add food coloring to your batter, do more than three drops of purple food coloring. Three drops gives you a kind of pink, which is okay, but I really wanted it to be mm -hmm. purple. This was our day 58 Corona Chronicles adventure, lavender cupcakes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and happy Mother's Day. Is it just a dancing pineapple? Uh, now it is some ch a pair of cherries dancing with a half of an orange. Nice. Oh my god, we're recording. <laughs>